Hi, I'm Peter Mansbach, and I'm president of Circadian Sleep Disorders Network. We've started a patient registry and a detailed survey partnering with AltaVoice, which supplied the software and guarantees HIPAA compliance. This went live in February. The combination of registry and survey provides de-identified information about circadian rhythm sleep disorders patients. These data can be used by researchers to contact prospective study subjects with characteristics of interest. The survey results by themselves are providing a lot of interesting information. As of May 28, 208 people had completed the survey. We hope to get to 500. I'll summarize some preliminary results. We did not analyze the entries in detail and have not yet looked at correlations. For example, if forcing oneself to get up early for work increases the incidence of other health conditions. This slide shows the distribution among the different circadian rhythm sleep disorders in our survey respondents. Of particular note, there are a lot more cited non-24 people in this small sample than most doctors would expect. We suspect that cited non-24 is more prevalent than commonly believed. When sleeping on their body's preferred schedule, 58% still feel tired. 32% sleep nine and a half hours a night or more. I keep reading that if we slept on our body's preferred schedule, we would sleep normally and wake well rested. But these results contradict that, as does my own experience. There's more going on than just the timing of sleep. Of those who have to force themselves up at a particular time for work, school, or family, over half get six and a half hours or less sleep on work days. 61% are late for work or school at least once a week. That's a public health issue. 37% <clears throat> of respondents with circadian rhythm disorder also have been correctly diagnosed with another sleep disorder. This suggests that many patients have multiple symptoms which can complicate diagnosis and treatment. A lot of our members have mentioned other medical conditions that they suffer from, so we asked about some of these to see if any correlations emerged. 47% also suffer from depression. For two-thirds of those, the depression started after the circadian rhythm disorder. Doctors frequently say that depression is the cause of sleep problems. This suggests it is often the other way around. 26% of our respondents also get migraines. 49% of respondents felt they were unusually sensitive to bright light. Does perceived sensitivity to light correlate with response to various treatments? For example, do the people more sensitive to light do better or worse with light therapy? Do they require light restriction in the evening to achieve their targets? We hope to answer some of these questions with more analysis. Of the 80 people who tried light therapy, only 18% achieved their desired sleep times. This includes people using other treatments in addition to light. Clearly, light therapy is not the ultimate solution for most people, despite what many doctors seem to think. Of the 75 people who tried light restriction, 62% are still using it. Of 140 who tried melatonin, only 13% achieved their desired sleep times. Most used it within an hour of bedtime but melatonin should be taken much earlier to be most effective in shifting circadian rhythm. Phase-delayed chronotherapy for DSPD 
involves progressively delaying sleep a few hours a day around the clock until the desired sleep time is achieved and then stabilizing. Of the 68 people who tried it, only one said it helped indefinitely. 93% said it helped only for a month or less or not at all. 29% said their DSPD became non-24 after using it. This is not a long-term solution for DSPD and appears to involve unacceptable risk of becoming non-24. Yet doctors continue to recommend it. In conclusion, we need more research on people who have circadian rhythm sleep disorders, including best treatments and how to time them. We're hoping our survey will generate more interesting research on these people. I'll leave this slide up for a moment. <clears throat>